Basically. Is that what they said? Kinda. I'm gonna get to divert a lot the revenge. Of, a lot of on Odin. Him. Hey, now that you told me that they have CGI wieners. I'm telling you that it's got that, that, that all of it is CGI. His body's CGI. Like I don't believe any of it. Yeah, I'll. So this is our premiere review that our I went. Premiere. I went and saw on opening night. Opening. So the theater was pretty packed, honestly. Really? Because clearly no one saw this. Yeah, I think it, it barely was just broke like, ten million dollars. It was diehard fans, and then everyone. Diehard fans of what? I don't know. Robert Eggers. I guess. So the Northman. Looks uh, when I first saw this trailer, I was like, "Oh, this is an A24 movie." So I thought it was gonna be weird. And then you're like, "No, it's Robert Eggers." I'm like, "Who the fuck is that?" I'm like, "Oh, you remember the Lighthouse that you forced me to watch?" Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "It's that guy." Forcibly. I'm like, I'm like, "Oh shit." And <laughs> Doc says that's a picture of him. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm I'm really surprised, honestly. I knew the critics were gonna rate it well because Robert Eggers, lo you know, was they critic bait basically. Eighty nine percent. Audience score I thought would like it more. 66% seems kind of low. I am a little surprised, although from what I've heard, it's a little bit of a basic it, bitch movie. Yeah, but still, 66%. That's like a C-. minus. It's definitely not a C-. Well, movie. remember what I told you about this. Uh, read the critic consensus, and then, then we'll discuss what I told you. A bloody revenge epic and breathtaking visual marvel. The Northman finds filmmaker Robert Eggers expanding the scope without sacrificing any of his signature style. And the budget's like $90 million and is not going to make that money back, which is, yeah. does not look good for him. It's an, yeah, look, it's an original movie about Viking people, I guess, right? It's like a Viking yeah. revenge story. Yeah. There's nothing special about it. So what I told you is that when it screened, the, you were, we were talking about how in the lighthouse they speak like old-timey sea language, right? Yeah. And then in Robert Eggers other movie, The Witch, they speak old-timey English and it takes you uh, like a good 20 to 30 minutes to like understand what the hell anybody is saying in the movie. And it, it's it, they're fine movies, I guess. They're very art house and weird. In this movie, you told me they kind of flip-flop in between speaking whatever they're speaking, and then they speak like normal English, right? Yep. So what I had told you is that it screened very poorly in the old whatever language they are speaking. Nordic. And... Is Basically. that what they said? Kind of. I'm going to get to divert a lot the revenge. Of, a lot of on Odin. The, Odin, son, and the yeah, of... it. No Loki, though. No Loki, son. Just anyway, uh, so what I told you is that they went back and they ADR'd, for those of you who don't know what that is, they just went back and, and dubbed in normal English speaking. So they did all their lines in this old-timey language, and then they went back. They all sounded like the Swedish chef, and then they went back and, and dubbed in actual English. Do you think it would have done better if it was just regular English? No, because it wasn't... It wasn't distracting enough. Like that wasn't an issue. It didn't. It didn't uh, screen well, though, which is weird. I just think it, it was jarring that you could tell that they were trying to do the old Nordic language, and then there was random spots where it's like, "Oh, I'm speaking perfect English." I'm going to kill that man. Yeah, kinda. That man has ra ruined my life. <laughs> It was, the main plot is super basic, but it was just a bunch of weird stuff mixed in and the visuals are great. But the story is literally like, someone, family member dies, I need to avenge them. That That's it, that's the movie. And then there's like, oh, what weird stuff can we put into it? Like, oh, Odin, let's dance around in diapers. Let's howl. Let's be naked a good portion of the time. Let's rub period blood on a rapey Viking. Like, there's just a bunch of, like, weird stuff. But I, I, don't, I don't know enough about Nordic lore. But apparently Robert Eggers is super true to the time frame. So I, I guess this is pretty accurate. I don't know. Uh-huh, because everyone was just, like, cut like that, right? Yeah, no, he he's super jacked. Uh, and it's, it's pretty it, brutal. 
but it's Scar like slow dark. and brutal. It's like has a good fight scene. There were some one shots in there, so I think that people can appreciate that. Like it was directed well. So it just wasn't a super engaging movie the whole way through because it's basic. Uh huh. This is stars uh, Alex Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman, Ethan Hawke, Anya Taylor Joy. Uh, Nicole Kidman is in it, or not? Nicole, Clay's Bang is in it. Do you know who Clay's Bang is? He's the bad guy, but who he is was, he? Remember, he is. Um, he was. Uh, he was the Dracula, in that Dracula. Was the, it the BBC Dracula movie? Oh shit! Yeah, the one where like it started off real good and it got real bad, went off a cliff. Yeah, it was like a three episode series. I kind of remember that, yeah. Yeah, yeah it like went in the modern day and got real terrible real quick. Yeah, uh, Anya Taylor Joy was in it. She was pretty good. It was just like kind of dumb because it's like a standard revenge movie where you're like, all right, this guy should make this decision, but he just doesn't. And then you, uh, you know, the ending is kind of what you would expect. How is this okay? I don't really understand this review. This is a teenager cinema par excellence. An opera of old world mayhem fit for Beavis and Butthead. That how is that a good is that a good review or is that a bad review? I don't know what that means. So that sounds like this movie was confusing and people didn't get it. It wasn't bad. Like, like it was it was good. I I don't know. I, I wanna watch it again just to see. Are you going to buy it? I'm debating it. Okay, so that means that it fits right in that sixty six percent there. No, it's it's, it's like a, a B. It's a B, then you would buy it. It's B a B for buy. It's a B, but it's not like a movie that you need to see multiple times. It's like you see it and you're like, all right, I'm good. Would you ever watch the the light the White House again? Fuck no. <laughs> Absolute. I would pay money to not watch it again. Would you pay our audience to watch the movie? Like, no. yeah. Why don't we challenge our audience? Watch yeah, that piece of shit. Yeah, we challenge Ron. You want us to watch crappy movies? You watch a crappy movie. Watch the Lighthouse. We challenge you to watch the Lighthouse by Stream Robert Edgar. Stream it. Edgers. Send us a video of it so we can know you're doing it, and then maybe we'll watch your movie. I mean, Ron's I'm not even in the chat. I would anyway. watch it anyway. I'd watch it either way. Like, I'm not opposed to wa- to reviewing the movie. I'm just, you know, not spending money on it. Yeah, if somebody wants to buy me tickets, I'll go. Yeah. The, uh, you know, the, the movie houses don't give us advanced what do you screenings. Mean, we could have went to the Northman together. Why? Why yeah, not? Why would I go? I'm not paying for that either. Yeah, I would have bought it. I still wouldn't go. Exactly. <laughs> still, maybe if you paid for the bad guys, I would go. No. I would not Make see me a Strami and then the I'll consider Northman it. The Northman not going to do it. Make me a Strami. Not going to do I it. I need Stramis for tickets. <laughs> Make your own Strami. I will teach a man to make a Stromboli. We can do a What's video the, of how to how to make stramis. Right. Then we become a cooking review channel. Hey, our reviews will cook you. Our reviews will cook you with a K. Yeah. <laughs> Not the extra two Ks though, because then that's bad. What's that two K? Four Ks. Yep. No, four Ks, not three K. Yeah. No cooking, cooking in three four, Ks. Cooking in four K. <laughs> we will cook. Yeah. The extra K. Makes hey, did it. they skip to? Did they skip three K and go right to four K? They must have done that. There's no way they were like. Oh shit. They totally did that, didn't Holy they? Holy shit. Look at us. We just came up with an epiphany that no one has ever talked about before ever on any channel. You share this with all your friends. Just think about it, folks. The entire industry skipped 3K specifically for a very specific reason, and we discovered it here on Our Reviews Will Kill You. Although I think there was one company that was like they went in, out of business in the middle. Real quick. They were like 3K TVs. We have the whitest colors ever, and then they're like, nope, this isn't a good business. <laughs> the <model."> whitest whites. <laughs> Look how white our whites are. I uh, just yeah, just I like bleach. I just realized that. That's a good anime. Yeah. That's. I just realized that they did skip 3K, and then I was uh-huh. like, "Oh, why? Because obviously, you, know, you hate mean crimes I and figured shit. it out." Yeah. I guess watch The Northman. Or not. I would say watch. I it. Will probably won't watch it for free. No, you'll watch it for free. You like you've watched Robert Eggers' other movies. Because I was in a special type of mood. Yeah, you have a couple drinks. You're like, let's watch. Let's uh, put it on. Let, let's watch a shirtless Viking. I heard something about a sex scene with a mermaid, and it intrigued me enough to be like, there was cloaca involved, and naked I naked volcano men fighting. What? What else do you need? But it's digital wangs. 
Oh, that was what I was going to say, too. Viggo Mortensen in Eastern Promises, which is an amazing movie. Catch it. Make sure you watch it. He did the real deal where he had a naked fight scene. This dude cow was a coward and didn't do it. That automatically reduces the rating for this video. If you're going to have a naked fight scene, don't add digital wangs. Just do the Viggo Mortensen and make sure you do it. That man was showing his long sword. He dude, just one of the most brutal fight scenes I've ever seen in my entire life is in Eastern Promises, an amazing movie. You should catch it. Oh my god. My highest recommendation. Do you see testicles? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. They're in a Russian bathhouse fighting and it's and, brutal. And it's amazing. His, and they're his testicles? Uh oh yeah, there's oh. A, there's lots of naked men in it. I need to see it. It's very naked. I just want to watch that fight scene. You can. I'm sure it's on somewhere. YouTube, who knows? Ah.